We almost consider it to be a member of the family. It's been here forever. Lewis and Clark didn't come through till 1804, so it would have been a fairly good sized tree then. They didn't mention it, but uh, they may have seen that tree, I don't know. We own the land where the tree is, but it's everybody's tree. We're not, we don't claim it for ourselves. It's uh, genetically superior, or it wouldn't have lived that long, but it's also really lucky. And uh, It's certainly in a decline now uh, because of its age and maybe other things like floods and, and droughts that have happened to it, but it's, uh, I think it will outlive all of us. There have been some arborists that have come down uh, twice in the last 10 years or so and trimmed dead limbs out of it and they put some uh, growth retardant on it to, so it would put its energy into staying alive rather than getting bigger. I watered the tree 2011 or 12, I forget which year, and hauled uh, several thousand gallons of water over time. And uh, people were appreciative of that. And, a uh, lady at the doctor's office, I didn't really know her, she said, oh, there's the keeper of the tree, you know, <laughs> and kind of an interesting uh, title. I didn't know I was, was uh, the keeper of the tree, but I guess I am. I, you know, we try to keep track of things, and, uh, uh, but we're, we're glad to share it with everybody, and as long as they help, be nice to it, too.